Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to, we're going to be talking about length matching roller chains. And here to help us out, she's been here before from the Diamond Chain Company, Mandy McSherry. Welcome back, Mandy. Thank you, Tom. It's great to be back. You guys are celebrating a special anniversary, 125 years. Yep. That's a, lot of, that's a lot of time for chains. It is. Man, 125 years, so congratulations again. Thank you now, very much. length matching. Let me see if I can guess here. Okay. okay. Going out on a limb here. Length matching has something to do with matching lengths of roller chain. Spot on. So, <laughs> thanks a lot. So <laughs> length matching, which can either be common or class one or close match or class two, refers to the special process Diamond uses to manufacture and assemble strands of chain so that they match in length. All right, and where are we gonna find length match chains being used? What kind of application? Length match chains are used in applications with two or more chains, usually with some type of attachment running in parallel as part of a conveyor or transfer system. Okay, parallel. Got it, that makes sense. Matching, parallel. Okay, so uh, length matching is especially important for packaging machinery, assembly machinery, and other similar types of equipment because it helps to ensure parallel alignment across the strands. That makes sense. I mean, applications like packaging machines are usually going to run with close tolerances. So. Parallel alignment across multiple strands is going to help you maintain those close tolerances. And I'm thinking that probably means more production, less scrap, less downtime. But what happens if you don't have those matching lengths of roller chain and things are a little cattywampus there? Well, that's a good question. And how about a demonstration? I love it. Since it looks like we have a demonstration set up, I'm going to let you take over. OK, so to set the scene, you've just been promoted to a very important position. I, well, I, I like the sound of that, maybe president. CEO. Actually, I, I was thinking of something a little bit more important than that. Uh, okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. So congratulations. You are now responsible for bringing drinks to the Pee Wee Soccer League, which practices three times a week. You, you didn't tell me that the job was that important. I mean, they need a lot of drinks. Oh, well, not to worry. In your spare time, you've created this fancy juice box fill-in line. The cartons are placed into the machine over here, mm -hmm. and the juice fills right there. Well, I have to say, it is one of my better inventions. <clears throat> I do good work, you know. All right, now, I, let's let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. Why? Well, of course, there's a problem. All right, what I do wrong? Mm -hmm. can, we, can we fix the problem? I mean, it, does it have something to do with the chains? It does indeed. Mm. Here we've used two standard attachment chains. Mm -hmm. One strand was recently ordered, and the other was picked up from the maintenance crib. Uh, they're not match lengths, are they? That's a good catch. They're not. But just for fun, mm -hmm. let's start production and see what happens. OK, how do I start production? Tell me what we're going to be doing here. Well, first, Tom, yeah. we must put on our PPE. Good point. She caught me on that one. And uh, remember, you should use your PPE for whatever the job calls for as well. She's got her glasses on. I've got mine on. PPE, personal protective equipment. Remember, safety is always rule number one. Go. All right, Tom. If you could supply the power over here, okay. I'll drop in the cartons all right. and the juice. OK, all right. All right, so the carton would drop through this chute right. here. It looks kind of, the carton has kind of fallen. Uh-oh, here uh, comes the juice. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just going out on a limb here, but uh, I mean, that's all over the production line, the machinery and the floor. This is a mess. It is. Uh, by the way, this might be a good time to mention, you can get all your cleaning supplies at motionindustries.com as well to clean up this. What happened here? Well, obviously we've taken some creative liberties here to help demonstrate what could happen when an application that requires length match chains uses non-length match chains instead. Yeah, I mean, that's an important point. Uh, precision applications do need precision components, and with a non-length match set, we saw alignment issues that in turn caused production problems and ultimately a big mess, and those kids will be very unhappy because they're not getting their juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And while you might not experience the same catastrophic failure that we did here, long term, strands that are not in alignment will put a greater load on the strand, causing excessive wear to the chain, the attachments, and the sprockets. We know what that means. And we're talking about downtime, lost production, increased scrap rates, all the things you don't want to see on a production line, because that's money flying out the door. Yeah, exactly. And as you can see here, this is an example of what it would look like if we had two perfectly matched chains. The unit would run smoothly without any hiccups, and this is what you want yours to look like. Yeah, you can see that, how it runs parallel, and the box is nice and square. Mm -hmm. And that's much better than that one here. I think I'm going to take this one home and then redo my, uh, my invention over there. Well, nicely done. Thank you. Mandy McSherry, once again, we Thank appreciate you, it. That's the Diamond Chain Company celebrating 125 years. That's delicious. It tastes like orange sherbet. Is that orange sherbet?
Mmm, that's absolutely delicious. I love that. Well, if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, don't forget to contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. Talk to the representative. They're going to be able to help you out, and hopefully this will help you with your practical application, and you can give them a call to make sure your chains are all matched up. Hey, you saw us wearing the PPE. Mandy assured me that uh, this is the way to do it, and I agree. Personal protective equipment. Safety is always number one. Whatever the job calls for, make sure that you're wearing the proper PPE. And also make sure that you watch other how-to videos from Motion Industries, or it could be an addition of Tom's Toolbox. Thanks for watching today. That's delicious.